Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a beaded bangle using the same design that I did here on my beaded barrettes. If you haven't seen my video tutorial for these barrettes, I will leave a link for it down there in the description bar. So here is the first bangle I made, and I did it in the same color layout as I did the barrettes. I did all of my 6mm beads the same color. I did my 4mm crystals and a clear AB, and on the sides I filled in my bracelet with 6O pink seed beads. So I wanted to see what this bangle would be like if I did it with the smaller beads, just like I did in these little barrettes. So I did 4 millimeter beads for my base, on the top I did 3 millimeter crystals, and on the sides I did 8 O C beads. So looking at these here, you could see that I have these C beads in here in between my crystals. Now I did that because this bracelet takes a ton of 3 millimeter crystals because the beads are smaller, I needed more. So instead of doing crystals throughout the whole bracelet, I did seed beads. And I really like how it looks with the seed beads in between the crystals. It is so cute. Okay, so after I made this bracelet, I did this one. And I did 11 OC beads in between the 4 millimeter beads, just like I did in the bracelet. And then, or in the barrette, I mean, when I went to go try this on, it was small. It had shrunk and I realized because of the 11 OC beads that's why it did that. So I did 8 OC beads in this one and it did not shrink at all. So I recommend that if you're going to make the smaller bracelet please use 8 OC beads because you will have a hard time doing it. With 11 OC beads you'll have to take the bracelet apart several times to get the bracelet just the right size. So if you're going to do the 4 millimeter beads do the 8 OC beads in between. Now you can see on these here that I did change my color pattern. I have two different colors of the Czech fire polish beads and it looks really cool. This one here I did the same thing, two different colors. Alright, and I got this really neat pattern. It's very sparkly, very gorgeous bracelet. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make these bangles. I will be doing the larger version because they're bigger, it's easier to make because you can see them better, and also it's faster to make because I'm using less beads. Now, I'm going to give you the material list to make the larger one and the smaller one, and remember, I always put the materials down there in the description bar. So keep on watching. Here is the list of materials you will need to make the larger bangle. You will need 9 feet of 10 pound fire line, or if you don't have a 10 pound fire line, you can also do a 10 pound monofilament. Now I know this sounds like a heavy pound to use, but I'm using that because this bracelet is very heavy. It's like a men's watch. It's a really heavy uh, bangle, so that's why I'm using the higher strength and also the beads are larger so when you use large beads you kind of want to use a larger thread for them. You're also going to need two size 10 beading needles if you're using the fire line because this is a thread. You will not need needles if you're doing the monofilament because the monofilament is thick enough to be its own needle. Okay. You're also going to need 72 six millimeter round beads. Now I'm using check fire polish but you can use whatever round bead you want. You can use pearls, you can use plastic beads, you can use wooden beads, whatever you want as long as they are six millimeter beads. Now if you want, if you don't have 72 of the same color, you could do 48 of one color and 24 of another color and you'll get this neat looking pattern that I did on the smaller bracelets. You're also going to need 96 4 millimeter bicone crystals. Now that is a lot of the same color and if you again if you don't have that amount what you could do is split 96 in half so I have 48 of one color and 48 of another color. You're also going to need 48 6 O seed beads and you're also going to need 11 O seed beads just a little bit you're not going to need a lot of them. Okay so this is the list of materials for the larger bangle. Now I'm going to give you the list for the smaller bangle. 
Here is the list of materials you will need to make these smaller bracelets with the 4 millimeter beads. You will need 9 feet of 8 pound fire line. You will need 2 size 10 beading needles. 102 4 millimeter rounds, so it's these beads here for the base. Now, if you don't have 102, what you could do is what I did in these two bracelets. You could do 68 of one color, which is my iris, and 34 of another color, which is my uh, transparent peridot um, check fire polish beads. You're also going to need 136 3 millimeter bicone crystals. Now, if you're like me and you don't have 136 3 millimeter bicone crystals, you can just split that number. So do 68 3 millimeter bicones, and in between, do the seed beads. So on both of these, I did the same thing. I did the crystals, seed beads, crystals, seed beads, crystals, throughout the entire bracelet. You're also going to need AOC beads to go in between your 4 millimeter beads. And you're also going to need 11 OC beads in two colors uh, for the top here. Okay, so this is the list of materials for these smaller bracelets. Sorry I couldn't show you uh, laid out on a mat, but I will have the list of materials for the smaller one and for the larger one down there in the description bar so you can see it all in writing. Okay, so check down there in the description bar. And now we are ready to make these bracelets. I went ahead and I threaded both of my needles and I made sure that they had the same amount of tail on both sides so I don't run out of thread on one side as I'm working and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to work with the six millimeter beads and if you're using two colors you want to pick the bead up first that you have the most of so that would be my Rosaline color here so I'm going to pick up four of these six millimeter beads I'm going to slide all four of them down and I'm going to grab the fourth one and crisscross my needles through the fourth one just like this okay then I'm going to put these needles together hold them like this and I'm going to bring this bead that I crisscross through all the way down to the center of my string so just find the center of your string make sure you hold your needles together because they do slide apart finding the center and bringing this bead down Okay, so this is centered on my thread, and this is what we have. It's very simple. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my second color. So I'm going to pick up one bronze on each needle, and then I'm going back to this color, and I'm just going to pick one up, and I'm going to crisscross my needles through this bead. Okay, I'm going to put my needles together and I'm just going to bring this bead down. And now I have what looks like this. So now I have to complete this little square here. So I'm going to pick up one of these on each needle. Oops. One on each needle. Slide that down. Then I'm going to pick up another one and crisscross through it. Okay? And again, I'm going to put my needles together and bring this bead down. Pull thread tight. Sometimes, if it's looser back here, what you could do is grab your thread on the sides and then go back to your second one, pull these, and then pull these, and then it's tightened up. Okay, so this is what we have now. And now I have to go back to this color. So I'm going to pick up one on each needle, pick up one of these and crisscross through it. I actually found that it was really helpful to stand up and do this part because we're working with so much thread because you can really stretch your arms out when you're standing up but it's kinda hard if you have a low desk which is what I have. Okay so I just added that one on. Now I'm going to pick up one of these on each side and then I'm going to pick up another one and crisscross through this bead. 
and bring that down. Okay, I'm going to pick up one of these over here, the bronze, that's the next color. Slide that down. I'm going to pick up another Rosaline and crisscross through this bead. Okay, then bring this bead down. Again, I have to pick up one of these on each needle, slide that down, and then I have to pick up one that I cross through, just like this, and slide this bead down. Okay? Now every time after we have this little square complete, we have to do our second color. One on each side. And then we pick up one of these here and cross through it and bring this bead down. So as you can see, this is very simple to do. It works up much quicker when you're doing six millimeters than the four millimeters. But um, yeah, if you want to do all of one color, you don't even have to follow a pattern like I just did here. Um, but it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So just keep going, doing this, until you use up your beads. And then, once you do that, you want to wrap it around your hand. And I'll show you that when I get to that point. So just keep going, repeating these steps, until you've used up your 6 millimeter beads. So I kept on going, and I used up all of my 6 millimeter beads, and now what we have to do is make sure this bracelet is going to fit you. Now, you have to slide the bangle over your hand, and I have medium sized hands. So, to make sure this will fit you, what I'm going to do is lay this flat on the table. Okay, bring this down, make sure it's flat. And then I'm going to take my needles, and I'm going to crisscross them here through this bead okay close up the bracelet just like this I'm going to pull this tight put my threads together I'm going to wrap this around my finger a couple times and I'm just going to hold this um, really tight with my fingers just like this. And now what you have to do is put this over your hand and you need this to fit over the largest part of your hand so it can go down to your wrist. And if it fits you just like it does me then you're uh, ready to continue on. If it's too tight you'll have to add a couple more rows of beads. If it's too small you'll have to uh, take this thread back out of this bead and go down uh, a couple rows. Maybe two rows so you can get it to fit you. Okay, so once you have it to fit, fitting you, the next thing we do is embellish the top. Okay, so I'm now ready to decorate the top and you have to decide on how you want your color layout to be. Um, these rosaline beads here are very light colored, so I think I want to put this fuchsia on top of the rosaline because if I put the fuchsia over here, the bronze is really dark and this would kind of you kind of wouldn't be able to see this color as much if it was over here. So I'm going to put the fuchsia here and then this light pink I'm going to put on top of the bronze so the color pops out. Now I forgot to mention if you want you can also do uh, seed beads in the larger one but instead of doing two seed beads on each side on each needle and then crossing through one in the middle and then picking up two again on each side and then crisscrossing through the four millimeter what you would do is you would do three on each side of the needle so pick up three seed beads on one side three on another pick up another seed bead crisscross through that seed bead then pick up three again on each side and then crisscross through the six millimeter bead if you want to do seed beads in this bracelet now if you don't have any um, three millimeter bicones for these bracelets you can just do this entire bracelet with seed beads embellishing the top and it would look just fine it just wouldn't be as sparkly as these ones here are okay so those are just some other 
ideas that I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay, so right now I have crisscrossed through this bead and I'm going to pick up one four millimeter crystal on each needle and then I'm going to pick up one C bead and crisscross through it. Just like this. Okay. Bring this down. Pull it tight. Now I'm going to pick up another four millimeter on each needle. Bring that down. And I'm going to pass through this bead right here. Okay. Pull that tight. Taking my other needle, I'm going to pass through this six millimeter too. Same one, opposite direction. Okay and pull it tight so it looks like this it's very easy to do okay now whenever I do the C beads I like to press it down with my thumb because sometimes the C beads will be going in funny directions so if you uh, pull the threads tight and push it down they sit just right and they make a perfect X and you'll see that when you go to do it with the C beads what I'm talking about okay so now after this, I'm going to do my second color of the crystal. So I'm going to pick up one 4 millimeter each side. I'm picking up one 110 seed bead and I am crisscrossing through it and bringing it down. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up one 4 millimeter on each side, slide it down past the needle. I'll stick this one in my mat. Pick this up. I'm exiting out of here. I'm going to go through this bead and pull this all the way through. And I have that. Now I'm going to take my other needle and pass through the same bead but in the opposite direction. Okay. And now I'm going to pull both of my threads tight, and this is what I have, a little X with bicones, okay? Now I'm going to do my other color, which is the fuchsia. So one fuchsia bicone on each needle, slide that down, pick up a 11 OC bead and crisscross through it and bring this down. Okay. Then I'm going to do another four millimeter crystal on each needle. Slide that down. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to take my needle and go through this six millimeter bead. Pull the thread through like that. I'm going to swap my needles and do this side now. Passing through the same bead in the opposite direction. Pull this through. Pull both of my threads tight. And this is what I have. Okay, now for the next color. This pink. So I'm going to pick up one on each needle slide that down, pick up an 11 O C bead and crisscross through it, bring this down, pick up a 4 millimeter bicone on each needle. I'm going to take this needle and I'm going to pass through this bead right here, pull it through, and it should look like this. Now I'm going to take my other needle and pass through the same bead in the opposite direction. Pull it through. And this is what I have. Now I'm going to pull both threads tight and go on to my next color, which is the fuchsia. So this is pretty simple. We're just repeating these same steps over and over one four millimeter crystal on each needle 
slide that down, pick up an 11 OC bead, cross your needles through that, bring this down, pick up two 4 millimeter bicones on each needle, bring that down, pass through this bead here, swap needles, and go through the same bead but in the opposite direction and pull tight. Okay, so just, just keep going repeating the same step over and over and if you have any problems just rewind the video and you want to do this around the entire bracelet all the way around until you get back to this side. Okay, so just keep going repeating these steps. So I kept on going all the way around and now I am right here and I thought that I would just show you guys how to close this. So I'm exiting out of my last 11 OC bead, okay. I have a bicone already strung onto this needle and I'm just going to pass my needle through here, okay. I'm going to swap needles, go to the other one and go through the same bead, different direction, pull that through, pull my thread tight, and there it is, I close it up. Okay, so now what I have to do is add these six OC beads in between the gaps, and remember if you're doing the four millimeter beads, you're going to have eight OC beads between your four millimeters. Okay, so I have to position my needle so I could do that. So right now my thread is coming out of this side and this side. So I'm just going to take my needle and go straight up through this bead. Then I'm going to take my other needle and do the same thing. Okay, and now very, it's very easy. I'm just going to pick up one 6 OC bead and you kind of want to hold it like this on one finger and pass the needle through the next check bead and pop that seed bead into place. Okay, so I'm just going to spin it, go to the next one, pick up a 6-0 and put it there in that space. Turn it, pick up a 6-0, put it in the next space. And it's pretty easy. We're just going to do this for the entire bracelet and fill in all the gaps putting one 6 OC bead in between oops, all of these check beads. These 6 OC beads are actually uh, Preciosa check. They fit really nicely in between. Okay, Make sure you pull it tight every once in a while and if you want you can do this entire side and then go back to the other side and fill that side in it's up to you okay I'm just gonna stop here and I'm gonna go to this side and show you what this side looks like filled in okay so just pick up one bead go through the check bead and I'm totally not left-handed pull it through I'll just swap hands. I'll turn it around them. Okay. Pick up my 6 O C bead. Pass through here. Pick up another one. Go through there. And I'll do one more. Okay, so this is what the bracelet's looking like. It's filling in all of those gaps. And once you fill in the gaps, you can't really see the thread because like this you could see the thread. So that's hiding our thread for us. So it's really pretty. I really love this bangle. It's really nice. So um, it's very simple. Just keep going, filling in the sides until you come all the way back over here and I'll show you what to do next. So just keep going, repeating these steps, filling in the sides. 
So I filled in the entire outer edge of my bangle with the 6OC beads. And now I'm ready to tie knots. And before I tie knots, uh, just make sure that these threads here are pulled tight, okay? So now I'm going to tie my knots in between the beads. And it does not matter where I tie my knot at on the edges of this because all of these beads have large holes except for the 11 O's, which we don't tie knots up there. We're only tying them on the outer edge. So, right now I'm exiting out of this 6 millimeter, and I'm also exiting out of the same spot on this side. And I have a thread that's going straight through the beads here on the side, and that's the thread that I just added. And then I have a thread that's going this way around this corner, and then I have a thread that's going this way on this corner. So when I go to grab my thread to tie a knot, I have to make sure I don't grab those corners because it could mess up how my bracelet is. So I need to take my needle and I need to pull this 6OC bead away and put my needle through this hole right here. Be careful not to grab the corner threads like I was talking about. Okay, So just pull it through like this make a loop and go through the loop twice it's more secure if you do it two times instead of one and pull the knot down okay pull it tight now I'm going to take my needle and sew through the 6-0 and I'll also pass through the check bead okay and pull that through now I'm going to tie another knot right here. So I have to again lift this bead up and make sure I don't grab one of those corner threads. Make a loop and go through it twice. And pull this knot down. Okay. Now I'm going to sew through the 6 0 and through the check and pull my needle through. Okay. So I'm going to tie knots throughout this whole bracelet and I just keep going tying knots until I run out of thread. And then I'll go to this side and I'll do the same thing, tie half inch knots all the way around the bracelet until I run out of thread and then I'm done. So just keep going and tying your knots because the more you tie, the more durable this bracelet is going to be and the longer it will last. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry we've made from my videos on my Facebook page. And you can also follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching!